تفضل سموه هو ألقى خطابا بعنوان الشرق الأوسط نظرة من الداخل إلى العالم وقد تناول سموه ما تشهده منطقة الشرق الأوسط من توتر على المستوى السياسي والأمني وأهمية التوصل إلى الحلول السلمية التي تحقق الأمن والاستقرار كما تناول سموه تداعيات الأزمة المالية التي أثرت على كبرى أسواق المال العالمية من جانب آخر أثنى سموه خلال حديثه على دور اليابان تجاه الدول ومسعيها المستمرة في تطوير صناعاتها المختلفة لتلبية احتياجات السوق العالمية وفي الشأن المحلي أكد صاحب السمو الشيخ سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد على السياسة التي تنتهجها مملكة البحرين بقيادة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه لبناء اقتصاد قوي وإيجاد السبل الكفيلة ومن خلال رؤية اقتصادية واضحة لعملية التنوع والنمو المستمر كما أكد على الدور الفاعل للإنسان البحريني الذي تعمل البحرين على الاستثمار فيه من خلال التعليم والتدريب. From inside the Middle East, looking out, this is part of our vision. We can immediately use our current liquidity to limit the global damage in the short term. This will help rebalance and reinvigorate economies in other parts of the world through mutual trade, investment, and alliance. Over the long term, our vision is about much, much more. It is about creating sustainable growth and investing to build lasting success that is not dependent on the ups and downs of energy prices. All of you know about the major problems in the Middle East. We have sadly been through some testing times with the recent wars and regional conflicts. However, the Gulf Cooperation Council members, which are Bahrain, Kuwait, Qatar, Oman, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates have fortunately been insulated from the worst of these troubles, and in circumstances that are sometimes far from ideal, we have managed to grow and prosper. I should stress that I am not here to offer packaged solutions to the problems of the Middle East. Instead, I'm here to give you the Middle East's other story. The story that is reality for millions of people living in one of the most exciting regions anywhere in the world right now. The story that does not get told so often. A story of hope, of rising to challenges, of changing lives and shaping new futures. The story I want you to hear today is that we in the Gulf are becoming responsible global citizens. Just as you in Japan have invested billions in helping countries around the world develop, we are committed to using our mineral wealth to invest in the true wealth of our people today and for future generations to come. In contrast to the wider global picture, the IMF predicts that the economies of Bahrain and the GCC will continue to grow at an average of around 7% in the next year. This is according to the latest report released yesterday. We do not take this good fortune lightly. We believe it is a heartening prospect, not just for us in the region, but for all of those we do business with whichever nation they may hail from. We also know that we have been blessed with resources provided by our mineral wealth and acknowledge that oil has played a central role in spurring GCC growth. But I must stress that we are learning from the mistakes of the past. We know that we cannot afford to be at the mercy of hydrocarbon booms and busts. Under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, I can assure you that Bahrain is now looking firmly to the long term, to economic diversification, to stability and security, to our human rather than natural resources. We are seeking further growth based not on oil, but on firm foundations rooted in real productivity gains, real economic growth, real improvements in education, and real skills in our labor force. 